Hi, my name is Rosalie Madden. I work for UVM Extension Crop and Soils team. And this is the third part of our video series on establishing a hop yard. This is the planting phase. Normally, hops are grown from rhizomes. However, because this is a research trial and we want to make sure that we had established a hop yard that was disease free, we got our starts from our collaborator at Washington State and then transplanted them here. It took them a long time to propagate them, so we planted in the beginning of August, whereas normally you plant in the spring. Our research consists of a variety trial where we are trialing 20 varieties. Those 20 varieties are Centennial, Fuggle, Mount Hood, Newport, Nugget, Chinook, Galena, Vanguard, Sterling, Perla, Willamette, Glacier, Hallertau, Liberty, Cluster, Crystal, Santium, Tetanang, Saz, and Cascade. When you're planting hops from rhizomes, you want to calculate for between 40 and 50 square feet per hill. Hops rhizomes are often planted in hills because it raises the hop up a little bit so that their roots don't get too soggy. Hops hate soggy feet. And for consistent establishment across your hop yard, it's often best to plant two rhizomes per hill. Here we planted two starts per hill and even then we've had problems with establishment. Aside from the variety trial, we're also looking at cover crop interaction with the hops plants. So we're looking at six different treatments, white clover, a clover rye mix, rye, buckwheat, a manure application, and the control. The goal of this is to determine the interactions between the hops and the cover crops in terms of hosting beneficial insects, disease suppression, weed management, and fertility. Because we planted so late, we're not actually going to train the vines this year. But stay tuned for our next installment where we are going to examine the training and trellising of hops and also going to design a hop harvester. To stay up to date on what's happening in our research hop yard, please check out our website. Look for What's Happening, the hop blog.